Good morning. Let me move. Good morning. How's everyone? Oh. Psalm 77. Oh, Lord. I don't know what's going on here. Hang with me just a moment, folks. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. Somebody go see if I'm on on Facebook, if there's anybody paying attention. First four verses, Psalm 77. First four verses, Psalm 77. Unto the Lord I with my voice, I unto God did cry. Even with my voice, and unto me his ears he did apply. I in my trouble sought the Lord. My sore by night did run, and cease not. My grieved soul did consolation sun, shun. I to remembrance God did call, yet trouble did remain. And overwhelmed my spirit was, while I did sore complain. Mine eyes, debarred from rest and sleep, thou makest still to wake. My trouble is so great that I unable am to speak. Now do the chief musician to Jedithan, a psalm of Asaph. Mm -hmm. Unto the Lord I with my voice I unto God did cry Even with my voice And unto me he did apply. I in my trouble sought the Lord. My sore by night did run and cease not my grieved soul did consolation shine. I to remembrance God did come, yet trouble did remain. And overwhelmed my spirit was Whilst I did sore complain And as the bard from rest and sleep Thou make us still to wake. My trouble is so great that I unable am to speak.
afternoon. Yeah. Excuse me. Three eighteen in the baby book. Three one eight morning, afternoon. Oh, excuse me. Got the arms. I still haven't changed Gatsby books out. That gum. Nine twenty six in Gadsby. Three eighteen in Beebe. Nine twenty six in Gadsby. Well, that's interesting. Gadsby says it's Kent. Baby says it's sonnets. <sighs> One nineteen in Duran Lester. They say it's Kent. We'll take the majority. They do four verses. There's seven in BB. I was going to say most conditional hymn books cut it down to four verses. It's in there. When overwhelmed with doubts and fears, great God, do thou my spirit cheer. Let not my eyes with tears be fed, but to the rock of ages led. When storms of sin and sorrow beat, lead me to this divine retreat. Thy perfect righteousness in blood, my rock, my fortress, and my God. When guilt lies heavy on my soul and waves of fierce temptation roll, I'll to the rock for shelter flee and take my refuge, Lord, in thee. When sick or faint or sore dismayed, let then, then let my hopes on thee be stayed. Thy summit rising to the skies shall shield my head when dangers rise. Sheltered by thine omnipotence, what potent arm shall pluck me thence? On every side I'm guarded well, with love and grace immutable. High is my sin, yea, higher too. The everlasting rock I view, replete with free eternal grace, made from old, my dwelling place. When called the veil of death to tread, then to this rock may I be led. No fear to cross that gloomy sea, since thou hast tasted death for me. M71 in Kent, I, my Kent's in the room. I, I don't have it here. I, I, I'm going to assume it's Kent's too, just by majority, but I appreciate you looking that up. I do. Good morning. We'll sing this 
I think the tune is Forest. I called for this in the Conditionalist Church, one of the leading ones in a major city in this United these United States. Well, that's kind of the way I felt. I, I'll be blunt about it, brother. I kind of feel that way now. And they sang it like this. When overwhelmed with doubts and fears, great God, do thou my spirit cheer. Let's sing it like we mean it. I think the tune is called Forest. But we're going to sing it right, Lord willing. When overwhelmed with doubts and fears, great God, do thou my spirit cheer. Let not mine eyes with tears be fed, but to the rock of ages lit. When storms of sin and sorrow beat, lead me to this divine retreat. Thy perfect righteousness and blood, my rock, my fortress, and my God, when guilt lies heavy on my soul, and waves of fierce temptation roll, how to the rock for shelter flee and take my refuge, Lord, in thee. When sick or faint or sore dismayed, then let my hopes on thee be stayed. Thy summit rising toward the skies shall shield my head when dangers rise sheltered by the What potent arm shall pluck me thence? On every side I'm guarded well with love and grace immutable as my sin ye higher to this everlasting rock I view 
replete with free grace made from of old my dwelling place when called the veil of death to tread then to this rock may I be led nor fit to cross that gloomy Let's thou have tasted death for me. Man, I dig that hymn. That did, did my soul the world a good singing it. I hope it did yours. I want you to know something. I need you to know something. And I think every one of you know it. I think every one of you know it. You got to be kept. You got to be led. David knew it, didn't he? I know we've done past this psalm as far as singing goes. David said this. And it's just part of a verse, if I remember correctly. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. What are you talking about, David? If some Armenian religionist of today's variety in Christendom would have heard that and said, David, what do you mean? Look at all them rocks out there that's higher than you. There's a bunch of them. I don't know which one to take you to. Can you hear his answer to him? Fool, I wasn't asking you. It's not up to you to lead them. Guess what? It ain't up to me either. The prayer goes out to the Most High God that you be led. Another Armenian religionist hears David pray. Oh, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And what does he say? David, you sluggard. You ain't nothing but an antinomian. I'll bet you a predestinarian as well. 
Get up off that high stool and do nothing and get to walking, boy. Don't you know the promise is you'll run and not be weary, walk and not be faint? Get on it now and claim that promise. Dear old David answering. Yeah, I can walk. But where do I go? Listen to Job. Oh, that I knew where I might find him. That I would order my cause before him. Oh, that I knew where I might find him. Armenian said, just reach out, and there he is. Don't you wish it was that easy? You can just read and know that he was right there to grab your hand. I know he's there. I don't know if he's ready to take my hand. I know. that he is right here. As the old confessions used to say, everywhere present and nowhere absent. But I don't know that he's here for my good. My hope is that he is. That he will neither leave me nor forsake me. And I'll bet you that's your hope as well. When overwhelmed with doubt and fear. If an Arminian would have written that song, somebody other than John Kent, a good Arminian if there is such a thing, when overwhelmed with doubts and fears, I need to work and persevere. Do the Lord's commands to get a blessing from his hand. Away with such notions. <laughs> Away with such notions. Ever have somebody try to cheer you up when you're down? I'm talking about in the natural sense now. I'm not talking about spiritual sense. A lot of times, a lot of times a friend can raise your spirits. But other times, man, you just want to waller in it. You been there? I have. Man, I don't want any comfort from you. I want I want to waller in self pity for a while. I'm happy to do it, just like a pig is wallering in the mire. But when you're overwhelmed with doubts and fears, it would be wonderful if a friend could cheer you, isn't it? If they don't know what you're going through. Yes, they know absolutely what you're going through if they're a spiritual brother. And though they may say a word to you, they know that they can't make it better. That it takes God to do that. It takes our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of sinners. Do you realize that when he said, when David said, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, he was talking about the rock, of the, the fact that God is the rock and that his work is perfect and that the work that he was to do uh, on behalf of David and all of the other election of grace, every one of them, it was going to be perfect, complete, full, and free. The gift of grace. Mm -mm. Mm 
That is glorious. When overwhelmed with doubts and fears. Don't send a man to work. Don't send a man to go off and work for the Lord. That's the Armenian way. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. That way they won't think about being overwhelmed with doubts and fear. Let not my eyes with tears be fed, but to the rock of ages led. See, Kent knew he couldn't find that rock. And if he could find it, he couldn't get there. Have you been in that, naturally speaking? Hmm? Have you been there, naturally speaking? Where you, where you wanted to go, but you couldn't figure out how to get there. I got that way in Baltimore one time, Baltimore, Maryland. I was going to meeting over the one third Sunday morning. And I was singing or listening to something, preaching to myself. Anyway, I missed a turn. And sure enough, I was on an exit for the Harbor Tunnel. Or I was on the road to the Harbor Tunnel. No more exits. Thankfully, I did have enough money in my pocket for the toll. I said, well, that's no big deal. Sometimes even Elder Poole would kid me, said, the only reason you don't take that is because it's toll. I said, no, it's really closer to go the way I do go. But anyway. So I got off there and I started going toward downtown Baltimore. The meeting house was in downtown Baltimore. If you got uh, Apple Maps or uh, probably Google Maps, either one, if you put in Ebenezer Primitive Baptist Church, Baltimore, Maryland, you can see the old building. Beautiful. Well, I couldn't see the building. I, I finally stopped. There was construction all around where I got off. I finally stopped. And I knew the buildings around the meeting house, and I could see them. But I couldn't figure out how to get from where I was to there. I knew there had to be a way. But I couldn't figure out how to get from here to there. It looked like they shut off every road across town. Yes, I finally found the way, but it was uh, it was touch and go there for a few minutes. Well, I'm getting that. Naturally speaking, you can see where you want to go, but you can't figure out how to get there. You can't figure out how to get there. Well, if we could see that rock. Even though we know it's bigger than we are. Couldn't figure out how to get there. I was there again. Trying to get there by your own means, your own measures. Trying to get there your own way. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Let not mine eyes with tears be fed, but to the rock of ages led. That's so glorious. 
It is. That is so glorious. That the Lord himself would condescend to lead his children where they need to go. I don't know. Can you comprehend that grace? No, but you can experience it. Can't understand it, but you can experience it. Grace all the works of crown. Everlasting days. It lays in heaven the topmost stone and well deserves the praise. Lead me to the rock, that stable place that's higher than I, because it can shelter me regardless of what happens. You overwhelmed with doubts and fears. Are you? You can't get rid of them by your works. You can't get rid of them on your own. If you buy, quote unquote, accident, talk to a workmonger about that. And he tells you up and be doing. Thank him. And then get away. And don't ask him such questions again. When one's taught of God, they realize. That everything about this salvation is of him, him alone. He leads you to himself. He's your shelter. He's your refuge. He's your cheer. He's the one who comes in the midst of the storm. In the midst of the gloom, it says, Be not afraid. Yes, I. Yeah, it's me. I've come to you. Come on now. Where are we going? I'm going to lead you somewhere. Where? To myself. It almost sounds like some kind of Zen koan, doesn't it? I'm going to lead you to myself. That's what he does. And we see that we're safe in the shelter of his wings. Our names engraved on the palm of his hands. Eternity can't erase it. Oh, goodness. God began his work in me. It was decreed that I should embrace Arminianism. You know, in almost all of us, that's the case. Brother, I could fellowship that. It was. In mine as well. In most instances, we act according to our nature. You know, people get upset with a dog barking. It's according to his nature. And we, who are sinners by nature, are also Arminians by nature. It's a means of humbling then when he reveals the truth. Yes, right. We are still learning. Bless our hearts. Every one of us. And yes, he's the God of our comfort. I 
I want you to mark this down. Before the Holy Spirit of God leads you anywhere else, he leads you to Jesus Christ. Do you believe God's determined the bounds of your habitation? I certainly do. Before he sends you where he wants you to go, he sends you to Christ. I wish I could say I was at the RBD for two months. I still find little of the Babylonian garment around. I'm not proud of it and I'm not happy about it, but it's the truth. Now I'm going to tell you something else. When we get caught up in the trappings of religion, when we get tied up in the trappings of religion, It's tough to come out of it. But I think I'm going to hush. I got a clean stove. You ain't going to believe what I did yesterday. Had me a nice cauliflower crust pizza. Loaded that thing down with some uncured pepperoni, a little extra cheese. Went to slide it into the oven. It went all over everywhere. It slid off that cardboard and went all over everywhere in that oven. So guess what I'm getting ready to do? I'm getting ready to clean the oven. After I put some clothes in the dryer, Brother, hope you all have a good day in the Lord. Any other comments, questions? I just hope easy off works like it used to. I remember my mother using it.
Oh, all right, brother. We'll see you all tomorrow, Lord.